What is up everybody? Welcome back to 7 days to die. Uh, today I'm just gonna make a short tutorial regarding the power drawbridge because not too long ago I had quite the battle getting this thing uh, set up properly with the uh, motion sensors. Uh, it would just open up from the one side not the other side. After losing my cool properly I eventually figured out uh, the problem so what we're gonna do is get over the start uh, okay first off so you're gonna well I, I normally take the outside sensor first so get that one connect no you don't get that one connected you need to get power to it first uh -huh. okay so you get your power to your first motion sensor I don't think it really matters if it's inside or outside, I just go with outside first. The problem that I had is from the first sensor I actually had a relay. Um, it wasn't with this base, it was with another base. And it seemed that the relay caused the problems. So you're going to take your power source to the first camera or motion sensor and then directly to the next one. After that, directly from the second one straight to the drawbridge. And Bob's your uncle. Okay, so obviously from there on you just need to set the site where you prefer it to be. Uh, what I figured uh, works for me is the power dura duration. I set at 5 seconds because uh, I did get my... 4x4 truck uh, launched here and there and that's that's not cool so just give it a few seconds to stay down before it goes up again and that way you you'll cross properly and okay there it closes up this one is set to five seconds as well so run through and that is pretty much how it's done so just a quick recap it's from your power source not ah oh, come on it doesn't have to be directly it can be to a relay uh, from the power source to a relay or directly from the power source to your first motion sensor then directly to the second motion sensor and then directly to the drawbridge and then that way you can just set up your motion sensors and there we go. I do hope this helped you. Uh, I wish I knew this earlier. And hopefully you won't have such headaches and hassles like I had. If you enjoy, please stay tuned for some more basic 7 days to die tutorials. Alright, thanks for staying tuned and hope this helped. Stay awesome, be a legend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all